and welcome to Big Fat Positive. My name is Gabby and today I'm here to give you my top tips for flying with a baby. Hello, it's just me today and I'm here to give you some of the learnings that I have picked up from taking my son Otis on a flight, two flights last week. Um, he's obviously a lockdown baby, so we hadn't been anywhere before. This is our first time flying. I was quite nervous, but I definitely have top 10 tips I'm gonna give you today to make your life easier if you're doing the same thing. Tip number one, make a list before you go. Um, I think this probably um, is appropriate for any trip that you take with a baby, but I think the last minute panic before getting a flight, what you don't need is the like, oh, have we remembered everything? What have we forgotten this? If you have a list and you have it out for two weeks before you fly, you keep adding to the list every time you think of something, and then before you go, you tick everything off and you know that you've ticked everything off. It just works, it helps you to calm you down so much because you just know, okay, I think I've, I really have got everything this time. <laughs> Two, um, if you can, book the bulkhead seats, which are at the very front of the plane, just because there's a little bit more space and um, when you're not kind of pushed up against the back of someone else's seat, um, your baby's got a bit more time, a space to move, just makes your life a bit easier. Um, Obviously, if you're not flying on a budget airline, which I was, I was flying on Ryanair, um, maybe you've got a bit more space. But I think if you are taking a budget flight, try and book the bulkhead. a small bag um i think i was kind of tempted to pack a huge bag for otis so i was like oh i'm gonna need so many things on the plane like what if i need this what if i need this what if i need this you actually don't need that much and if you only have a small bag to carry it makes your life so much easier fourth tip is um a sling is really really useful um, it just means that you can carry the baby, you can wear the baby hands-free as you're going about, you're checking in, you're doing this, you're doing that. I also took a pram to the gate and then gave it to the, the aircraft staff, which was really great just because Otis sometimes gets a bit tired of being in the sling. And so having him in the pram meant he had his own little seat and that was quite useful. Um, so if you can do that, I would inquire at the book-in desk if you're allowed to take the pram to the gate. And then in that case, it's, it's like an additional help. But at the very base, I would say try and have a sling because it just makes your life so much easier. My fifth tip is probably the most important tip actually for me personally. Um, and that is just don't sweat the naps. I am nuts about naps. They drive me mad. Um, and I was quite nervous about coming towards the flight because I knew that we would be leaving the house at nap time, we would be getting on a flight at nap time, and I was like, this is just going to go all wrong. And it didn't. You know, the naps were not great when he did sleep, but it didn't matter. It's fine. I just tried to relax about it, and actually that was the best way to be because um, your baby will catch up really quickly. It's absolutely fine for them to miss a map, nap or have a, or have a shorter nap. I really just wouldn't worry about it because worrying about the naps is going to make your flight so much worse. Tip number six, wipes. Now, I mean, this is particularly pertinent at the moment. I was flying at the time of COVID. So the minute I got onto the into our seat, I got the anti-back wipes out and I wiped every single surface that Otis would be touching and sticking his hands in his mouth immediately. Um, and then just having that initial wipe down the minute we got there meant that I was more relaxed when he did start touching his things and licking his fingers the way he does sticking his fingers in his mouth. Babies just aren't COVID safe. I do think though that's probably good practice whether there's a pandemic or not because who knows what kind of grubby grubs there are on, on bits of aircraft. So just it, for your own peace of mind, when you get on, sorted. <laughs> seventh tip is sucking for takeoff and landing which is something that really helps their ears from if they're going to pop um so for me i breastfed otis on the way up and on the way down but if you're not breastfeeding you could give them a bottle or just some water or a dummy i also tried to give otis a dummy but he 
we actually took the we trained him off the dummy um when he was five months old and trying to give it back to him at seven months old he wasn't interested so I was like fair enough okay that's not gonna work we'll just stick a boob in his mouth um and that did work what I would also say though is some babies ears don't get too troubled by takeoff and landing and Otis did breastfeed but he just popped on and off the breast and I was kind of like oh no you need to be you need to be sucking otherwise your ears are gonna go mad and and nothing bad happened it was fine he didn't start crying um you know he, he gave me a few looks a few times like a few smiles off the boob and then back on again and it didn't didn't cause a catastrophe <laughs> tip is snacks uh definitely take some snacks with you um as you probably know if your baby is eating snacks at this stage giving them something to chew on is is just really great distraction stops them from kicking off tip number nine is um probably try and take a toy or a few toys Ideally a toy that they haven't seen before because that'll catch their attention for a bit longer but it doesn't matter if it's an old toy, we only had old toys. Um, but my other tip is to make sure maybe they're quiet toys because um, I was already very paranoid about the amount of noise Otis was going to make so taking a noisy toy would have been a disaster. Um, so yeah, try and take quiet ones if you can. <laughs> Ten is take a blanket because it may be that you have a baby that likes to sleep on the go in which case you can just pop a blanket over your hair over his head her head um, and they might sleep soundly obviously being on a plane is good for white noise um, unfortunately I don't have a baby that likes to sleep on the go so all I had was a wiggly worm for the entire flight but um, I would take a blanket just in case you never know they might have a snooze <laughs> My final bonus tip is don't get drunk the night before you fly home because I'm telling you what, a hangover is a headache you just don't really need when you're flying with a baby. Okay, those are all my tips guys. I hope those are useful. I think overall the most important thing to say is just try and be chill about it because I was a little bit nervous and actually it was fine. It was absolutely fine. Otis was cool. We got there. There were no tantrums. We were really lucky and, um, and yeah, it wasn't the disaster I thought it could have been. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and we'll be back with you with our next instalment soon.